QTL mapping The process of locating genes with effects on quantitative trait using molecular marker is known as QTL mapping. The principle behind this QTL mapping is DNA markers distributed throughout the genome are applied to the mapping population testing for the evidence of a statistical association between the marker and a quantitative trait. For QTL mapping the following things are required. Marker Phenotypic data, genotypic data, and physical map. This is the reference map of cotton used for data file preparation. The phenotypic data used here is number of uh, sympodia, plant height, number of bowls per plant, uniformity, elongation, micron array, and fiber length. Development of recombinant inbred lines. By crossing gossypium histotum and gossypium barbenance, we can obtain F1. By selfing this F1 up to F8, the real population is developed. This is used to create a skeletal map for QTL mapping analysis. This is the mapmaker data file for cotton. The very first line of our draw file should uh, read like data type XXX. Here X denotes the RI self. The second line should obtain a list of three numbers separated by spaces. The first value indicates the number of progeny for which data are included in the file. The second indicate the number of genetic loci for which data are supplied. The third indicate the number of quantitative trait in the data set. Here 116 SSR markers are used. Mapmaker is a software used to find the distance between the offsprings. This is the mapmaker result. Working with WinQTL card. The first and foremost step in QTL mapping is preparing data files for QTL cartographer. The first step in data file preparation is chromosomal label and number of markers. Open an Excel sheet. In the first column, the chromosome names were labeled from C1 to C26. Here we are using 26 chromosomes. The number of markers present in each chromosome was entered in the second column with respect to the chromosome number. Thus an Excel file is created. We have to save this excel file. We are saving this excel file in the name of chromosome label and number of markers. With the extension of .txt file format. This is the notepad view of chromosome label and number of markers data file. The next step in the data file preparation is the marker labeling. In a new excel sheet, the marker labels were entered in the first row. The order of the markers was started from first marker of the chromosome 1 to last marker of the chromosome 1 and this has to be repeated for all chromosomes. Thus the marker labeling excel file is created. We have to save this excel file. We are saving this excel file in the name of marker label with the extension of .txt file format. Marker position is the next step in data file preparation. The marker positions were entered in the first column of a new excel sheet. Data of marker positions were started from position 0 for the first marker of chromosome 1 and this is for all chromosome. The line has to be leave in between the two chromosome markers. The marker positions were generated from mapmaker software. This excel file has to be saved in the name of marker position with the extension of .txt file format. Generating genotype and phenotype data is the final step in data file preparation. Open a new excel sheet. In the first row, header for individual genotype, phenotype like plant height, number of sympodia and so on were entered in the subsequent rows. The individual genotype, phenotypes are entered in the same order as mentioned in the header file. Here we are using 8 phenotypes. The phenotypes used here is 
plan height, number of symphoria, number of bolts per plan, uniformity, elongation, micro-narray, fiber length. The value corresponds to homozygous parent A is due and 0 is for homozygous parent B and dot is for missing value. Thus the Excel file is created and this Excel file has to be saved in the name of Gino and Fino ready. with the extension of .txt file format. This is the notepad view of the Gino and Fino ready data file. Select new option. A basic information box will appear. We have to fill those box. Click next. Import the corresponding data file. We have to browse for chromosome label and number of markers. Click send data. Select label option for marker label data file importing. Browse marker label data file and click send option. Click position option for marker position data file importing. Browse for Gino on Fino ready data file. Click send data, click next and finish. A message box, a source file is created will appear. Performing single marker analysis. The principle is either by ANOVA, T-test, GLM approach or by regression approach. T-test is used to compare the phenotypic mean. The value significance indicates the marker linked to QTL. Single marker analysis and click go. Choose view option. For linear regression analysis of a relationship between phenotype and marker genotype for each marker individually. Choose statistic option where the information like mean variation and standard deviations are calculated and displayed. A histogram is also present for this quantitative trait. Performing interval mapping. The principle behind this interval mapping is in which one marker at a time is analyzed to construct a putative QTL by performing likelihood ratio test at every position in the interval. The map functions like Cosambi and Halden is used to transfer the recombination frequency into the map distance and vice versa. Select interval mapping from the drop down menu and click go. We have to change the walk speed and the permutation value and click go. A graph showing LR values on chromosome 1 will be displayed as in interval mapping. Choose all chromosome and all traits for easy view information. Select options like show chromosome number and marker names for easy drawbacks of interval mapping. The effect of additional QTL will contribute to sampling variance. If two QTLs are linked to their combined effect will cause biased estimates. Performing composite interval mapping. Principle. When testing for putative QTL in interval, CIM uses other markers as covariates to control for other QTL and to reduce the residual variance. Mapping from the drop down menu and click go. We have to change the permutation time and walk speed for easy result. A software started to analyze the data. A graph will be appear to view and analyze the result. Select all chromosome and all trait. And some of the options like show marker name and show chromosome name etc. For deeper research, we are choosing single trait. The first trait PH is selected and there is no QTL for threshold line. The next trait number of symphoria is selected and there is no QTL. The next trait number of bolts per plant is selected. There are two QTLs above the LOD value which is presented in the 13th chromosome. The marker corresponding for this QTL is CLR29290. Select next trait. 
MIZ that is micron array which is also don't have any QTL in cotton. Select next stripe 2.5 SLA selector this straight also have no QTL. The uniformity does not have QTL on the threshold line. Select the next straight fiber strand has one QTL in the chromosome 22. The marker assisted is GPL377. Select next straight elongation is selector. This straight have QTL on chromosome 9 and the marker assisted is BNL, BNL3792. Performing multiple interval mapping. The principle is multiple interval mapping was performed to map multiple QTL simultaneously. MIM may have avoided the complicated background selection process associated with CIM but introduced various model selection methods. Select multiple interval mapping option from the drop down menu and click OK. Choose MIM option in the dialog box. Click new model option. Keep the default parameters. A new model is created. By selecting QTL show, we can know the number of QTLs with addictive effect. Application. Detecting and mapping minor and major gene loci, drug abuse, plant breeding. This is the list of available QTL mapping software along with their website. We can download any one of these software and make use for QTL mapping.